Hi guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to look at 3DX Max interface. I'm going to be showing you guys how, what and what you should know about the 3DX Max interface. This is basically for the beginners, the, the newbies in 3DX Max. Just for instance, you're new to 3DX Max and you don't know what to do to, you don't know what to do on the layout. So this tutorial is to help you guide you to know what and what some things means or some icons works for in 3ds Max. now before we do if you're new here kindly subscribe to our channel turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this now let's get started now right here up here is called the menu and this one here right here this menu right here is where all you need there are things you need and do you don't need this these things right here. There are some settings you, you would do right here. Like for instance, you want to adjust the unit of uh, the 3D max. You want to be working in inch or whatever, centimeter, kilometer, you know, system unit. You can change them right here. Okay so that's for when you say when they say go to the menu just come up right here go to the menu go to customize you know you're talking about this top right here go to the menu go to file you know you're talking about this top right here so the second part here is the tuba when you're told to go to the tuba you go to this point this the second row right there so this menu right, this um, toolbar right here, what we normally use, I'll show you, we use this in case of you want to go back and do, redo, this to pick object, this right here, the list of, the list of all the, ob all the objects in your scene, when you click it, it will appear, all the objects in your scene will be tabulated here, this right here to select, you want to select like a marquee okay this right here you want to say you want to select in box form circular form different shape and all these different types of select you want to select as this right here rectangular select religion region rather this right here i've never used this before so i'm not going to talk about it this right here you select and move if you want to move an object you just select and move this right here, if you want to move, if you want to rotate an object, just select and rotate. This right here, if you want to, if you want to scale an object, you just select and scale. This right here, I've never used it before, so I'm not going to talk about it. And this right here is like an angle snap. If you turn this on, you you find out that when you want to rotate something, it will rotate in a know in a, in, a, in a particular pattern such that you will have a straight line when you want to rotate an angular stuff you have it to it will be snapping so we to make it very easier for you to rotate we'll get there we will get we will show you everything we're talking about just just telling you the purpose the use of all these things this right here is to mirror to mirror an object this right here is the material editor. Material editor where we work on during our rendering process. When, during our rendering process, when we want to texture material, this is where we work on material editor. And this right here is this render setup. When you say go to the render setup, you see something like a kettle and a setting icon. You know what these settings is? Something like a wheel. Okay, on it, so you just know that is the render setup. Or if you put your mouse right there to show you render setup, this right here is the render setup where we we load our render rendering settings. When we tell you want to load our rendering settings, this is where this is where it is here. Yeah. So right now it is on the default. There's no V-Ray. There's it is not on V-Ray. If we want to convert to V-Ray, we would get to that point. That point where we want to convert to V-Ray. So this right here is the render setup i use 3dx 3d uh, v, -ray, v ray nest so my my render setup might be 
might be quite different from yours but there is a similarity where if you want to you know uh, load your render setup you go there and it's just the same thing so this is my render setup this is the render frame after rendering this is the frame it shows that two frames one is the buffer frame and the render frame the buff the, the render frame is the default the simple the simple the simple render frame after you uh, must have um, rendered your object your your image it shows this one shows and why the other one is uh, is quite it's quite complex but not complex it's actually it's actually a very good uh, render frame which you can get from the render by the time we convert by the time we convert this to vray settings you would see it but it is called the buffer frame buffer frame we'll get to that when time comes we'll get to that during our process of rendering it's actually an exciting frame to work with so back to the next one we talked about this back to this this one render product render product is the button you click okay you click if you want to render let's say you just want to render this just, just look at because there is nothing there is nothing in it that's why it just render so fast but if you want to render you just click that and render you can also click here too after the frame must have shown click there to render this right here is called forest pack it didn't come with the max it's an add-on so you can always install it anytime so now that's for that we've talked about this and this this is the menu and this is the toolbar and this is the ribbon we don't normally use this these are these are for advanced stages okay so we won't talk about it but it, it, it is called the ribbon and now um, 3d max has this right here 2018 2017 i think they have it right here they added some a very fast uh, uh no, more like a shortcut okay this right here are normally found inside here which is called the command panel all these right here are normally found in command panel but because people when we go to the command panel the thing we use basically are here at um, 2 gmas now decided to put some of them here so that we can easily go and get them but i'm not going to be teaching you from here i'm going to be teaching you from here just in case you're using the lower version so this is called the command panel command panel is uh, where we, we actually edit our object we can use it to edit our object modify our settings and some other things like that like for instance this place right here you have various kind of object where you can easily click and you know create a box and easily click and create a sphere so if you're someone that uses 3ds max to create these are where you can easily get shapes to create for so for now but we don't use i don't use 3d max to create i use 3d max to render so we are not talking about this creating of objects and this right here is when you want to create lines different types of lines use this line you can easily use it to you know create line i mostly use this for so for or let's say I want to do my forest part and normally use this or I want to do cotton and normally use this and we have various kinds of shapes too and here we have the light if you want to create lights in 3d x marks you come here and then you, you click right you click here because now you will go to V-Ray because we are working with V-Ray we don't want to work here with this working with various so anything you want to do you just make sure you select view then you select view the very lights will pop up and then you click very light we have very light we have very IAS, IAS we have very sun and we have very ambient light so this these are what we use where well, we, we get the food no and this right here is the camera camera so if you click here you see the standard camera we don't work with standard camera what we work with is 
video camera so you just click video camera and click very physical camera that's what we normally work with we we'll get there when, we, when it's time for rendering this right here is a modify uh, modify this right here modify now you see go to the command panel and go to modify this is it right here when you say go to the command panel and go to create this is it right here so when you go to modify let's say for instance you have you have an object okay and then you want to you want to edit something about this object then you just say go to the command panel and go to modify then when you go to this side right here you just go to the second one modify you see it's parameters here you can easily change them and that's it okay that's it. modify to, to modify this object and there are various lists of modify uh, modify modifiers there are various types of modifiers okay that archive and um, 3ds t3dx mask has it is used for advanced purpose but there are some we are going to be using in the process of our rendering in process of our so when it's time you would know or if we didn't touch it during the process of rendering then if you have the problem you can easily ask me and i will tell you what to do in the command panel so it's much easier than that this right here is called the hierarchy hierarchy this it is used to set the the um, origin point of uh, the the object you have let's for instance the you have left for, for instance you, you click this you can see this has changed and you want to move it if you move it and put it here and you go back this is what we have do you get so instead of this thing right here this right here to be here it is supposed to be it's supposed instead of it to be here it's supposed to be at the middle where, where you can easily pick the object easily so you just come here and let us say you, you merge let's say you merge an object and you have that right there top place where you can easily come here and edit it just come so make sure you select the object come here come here click this and press center it will go to the center and then you can go to the front elevation and then drag it downwards okay drag it down yeah and drag it downwards and that's that for that motions for animation yeah, right here I don't normally use I'm not talking about it so that's for that command panel and we have this right here on the right bottom this doesn't really I don't it doesn't really have a name though but it is used to for a viewport like for instance you want to want to zoom this you can easily zoom you can use you can use it to operate during the camera when we have our camera you can use it but when we our our scene is on perspective mode you can use it to zoom and this right here is the view the field view which you can also use but most times it distorts our image you can use it to you know, zoom in and zoom out this right here is pan and to pan our object you know move it here and there and this right here is orbit also you know rotate your your stuff right here zoom extend go back it goes, it goes back to the original mode and this right here is to you know maximize the viewport that we have if you want to go back you just click it again and you go back to the four four stuff so i'm going to talk about the viewport this is called the viewport this 14 this 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 view right here is called the viewport but most times it actually good to leave it at this 
point so that you can easily use it to you know work on your 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 scene like for instance this right here is called the top front left and the perspective mode the perspective mode can also be your camera mode for instance when you have your camera we would when you have your camera let's go to top and place our camera you have your camera right here you press C on your keyboard go to the perspective click it press in your keyboard this is your camera this is what it's showing this is how your camera this is camera right here okay so you see when you when you come to the top right here now and move you see that you, you're looking at what you're doing okay so this is the essence of the viewport you can easily work with what you have if you come here now and take this one right here put it up you will see what you're doing so that's the essence of living it at this day but most times i work with i like to see it in a bigger frame so immediately you change it to camera this these icons change it but they do the same thing just for instance let's convert it to perspective you see it has changed again but they do the same thing so let's con convert it back to camera see but they do the same the same thing for instance you're setting your scene and okay and then view this is what when you want to view a wider angle of your scene but most times it distorts your scene we we'll get to that that's for that in terms of introduction to our 3d interface let's go to before I, before I end this tutorial let's go to the perspective let me tell you about this you know this right this is called the view cube you can easily use it to you know rotate your object just like that just click and you know rotate you can want to see the front view front view want to see this left view left view as simple as that so that is for the view cube